what we get out of a reaction is our yield. What we calculate is going to be our yield from the amount of reactants present is our theoretical yield. What we get when we actually do it is our actual yield. And a measure of how efficient reaction is, is our percent yield. Percent yield is the actual divided by theoretical times 100%. Typically, percent yield would be less than 100%. When it shows up as being greater than 100%, it means that our product is contaminated. We cannot make more than 100%, but we can have solvent in there and other things, other products. Why our actual yield is less than our theoretical comes for a variety of reasons. We can have a side product being formed. We can have an incomplete reaction. Uh, there are Lots of reactions are equilibrium reactions. They do not go to completion, they go to equilibrium. And they'll stop short of completion. Uh, we could try to purify our crystal, lose a lot in the solvent. So, In this particular problem, we have 1.25 grams of this copper sulfate pentahydrate. We're forming a 0.25 gram, or we'll collect 2.25 grams. So this is our actual yield right here. And this is a, a strange form here. We have that copper sulfate dot 5H2O. Uh, the water, we don't consider to be part of the actual compound, the copper sulfate, but the copper sulfate loves to have that water in the crystalline form, in the salt that it forms. Uh, so that's why we do that dot 5H2O and we call it a pentahydrate, five waters added. So we're gonna include that five water into the molar mass of this compound when we calculate the molar mass of the compound. So we have our actual yield to get our percent yield, we're going to need our theoretical. So that's our first calculation to calculate the theoretical yield. So we're going to start off with our reactant, 1.25 grams. And then we're going to divide it by the molar mass. We add up our copper, sulfur, four oxygens, and five waters. And that gives us. Um, Uh, 249.72 grams per mole. When we're looking for our copper, so we do our stoichiometric ratio next, so one mole of copper or one mole of the copper sulfate pentahydrate. Now we want to multiply by the atomic mass for the copper. Let me run this through our calculator and we get um, 0.32 grams. And this is our theoretical yield. So we have our actual yield, our theoretical yield. Now we can calculate our percent yield. So it'll be actual, the 0.25 grams, over the theoretical, 0 0.32 grams, times 100%. We run this through our calculator, we end up with 78% yield. 